Good morning everyone, we are in Oxton, back to my weekdays shop, Pizzeria Micro. And what I notice when I do my training, then most of the people are the difficult parts when they're learning the job is the stretching techniques and also the scooping the pizza, um, scooping pizza as well. So today I want to give a couple of um, tips for you guys uh, to improve your uh, stretching and scooping techniques when you make your own pizza. So we're gonna start it soon. Maybe we're waiting just for the oven getting warm and then we're gonna start to filming very soon. Just be, just be ready. Okay guys, so um, today we're gonna talk about stretching and scooping the pizza. Seems one of the difficult part of the job to learn. So when I do my training, uh, people I have to spend quite a lot of time to stretch, um, show the stretching and the scooping techniques. So today I'm going to show you another couple of tips to be easy for you to work. Okay, first when we talk, if you can choose the table, I would prefer a wood table to marble or aluminum table. I really prefer the wood one, so it's more dry, as the pizza is less chance to stick. Also, semolina are recommend for your stretching, make your pizza nice and crunchy as well and helps you a lot to avoid to sticking on the table. So we're gonna show you again, we're gonna take one more pizza here. It's always important when you, before you scoop in here, show you with the camera here. So cut all the, the side of your pizza bowl instead too, and then it has to scoop in nicely round one and then you cover so you never to start to stretch it without the flower work first with the flower okay and then always we start from middle to the edges so trying to create straight away kind of visible cross like that okay and then you can put upside down again you keep stretching with all fingertips and the the palm and then what I do next step is the fingers stay kind of centimeter from the cross uh, pull it like that the fingers stay always close to the cross you know trying to avoid this if you start to move your thing, hand upside down like that you go risk to make thin your pizza base so keep on the cross and when you turn the pizza, you give a push, a stretching in the same times. Okay, as your pizza is gonna get large. You know, when it's a little bit large, you're gonna end up to finish without any flour. See the tables, it helps. And also, you need to make sure this all clean your table as your pizza is. Uh, See, stretching nicely like that. Yeah, you can see there's a nice cross already. If you like a bigger cross, you make a bigger portion on the side of the, your pizza door. Or if you like a thin cross, it, it depends on as you prefer. And then your pizza is stretched. So we do one more. As always, cut first if it's go close. And help with a little bit semolina to scoop it up. It make in right shape. If the shape is not perfect, you adjust with the hand just like that. Cover to side, you can do a few times as well. Through front of the camera, gonna do front of it, so probably it's easy like that. And then from the middle to the edges, you can pull upside down again if you want it. You don't have to feel sticking your pizza base on your hand at all. Okay. And then now, the fingers down. And then you, you stretch in that way. Just keeping that cross away. The palm also you put down helps you a lot to push on the side. The pizza. And then the pizza is stretch okay flowers has to be removed you don't want any flower at all 
keep so make sure you remove it and then you make that final stretch there you go okay that's the kind of tips I want to give you for your or your stretching so table is will give you a little bit help if you can otherwise any table will be the job but I really prefer a wood table if you can choose your own table semolina is good for stretching I give a nice taste on the pizzas and now we're gonna use the pizza peel so pizza peel it has to be clean at the handle clean at the back clean front always sanitize this is called six years old it's pretty old it works still well sometimes you do a little bit if it's too thick here you give a little bit sharpening here to make thin okay so um, I'll just pull always the half and then back forward to scoop it up and then you stretch after that and also it's important to always do the shaking movement to see if it's got any holes okay so you stretch again um, yeah also if you stay a couple of minutes which it shouldn't be too long if it's two three minutes on the table like that remove it put upside down because you can see it's gonna start to make kind of humidity here yeah? it go risks to stick so if you stay too long it's too slow to stretching you lift it up and put back again and re give another stretch so you can see the pizza is not stick everywhere okay now another important tips is that when you pour your tomato sauce on top do not ever go over of the pizza so keeping the candle centimeter away from the cross so the cross it can grow without sauce on top okay so sauce in the middle and then you give a spiral way a horse holding he decides your pizza your tomato spoon instead to using that way which is uncontrolled so you hold it like that it's more controlling with your hand okay so now we're gonna put some sauce some sauce some mozzarella as well and now because it's got more weight now the pizza so it might be a little bit more tricky but just about practice and then your techniques is gonna improve okay some mozzarella everywhere there you go olive oil okay and now always control see if any sauce or anything take your spatula if you see and move it around to see to avoid especially when using marble table or aluminum table this is, this is gonna help you a lot just make sure it doesn't stick so spin around a little bit flour just to give some hair at the, at the bottom again and then uh, this it look very simple but you need to get the right techniques so halfway and then it goes up again so halfway and pull it up and then you stretch in give a nice stretch like that if this is too complicated at the beginner pinch off like that and uh, you pull on top of the pizza peel and there you want to make your pizza if you do this kind of size close to the it's even a little bit too big for these boxes but I like my pizza quite large so I always put at the side of the pizza peel so you want to make sure it's nice and big once it's going to the oven let's pull one more locks hey when you lifting down as well don't be too fast so you left door is slowly and then it then goes down again. So I'll go we do the same with this. Okay, see this pizza is no stick at all. There is no flour there. You know? We also we got lovely J Metal pizza pills is brilliant, but it's very important as well when you're stretching and you don't get your dough too sticky and don't stay too long at the table so look can put back again 
pick it up in this nice little accent, no problem, you fix it. Sometimes when you're too fast, maybe bang in here, the pizzas go so, just like that. The pizza is going in the oven again, and now we're gonna cook it. Look, the cross now. The little cross me down, look already that difference. Now for some pizza plate. See the little cross we were just stretching? As look now, look at that. It was so small, but when it's puff, if you go nice fermentation of your pizza, look at that, it's so big. The oven dropped down as well, so I can see it's a bit down. We're gonna add one more lock. Also, if you're using wood fire oven, I always recommend one lock on the right, one lock at the left, if you can. So to keep the nice temperature at the bottom of your pizza oven. See, I've done very tiny cross, and now it's become so big because it's got nice fermented dough. And it's growing very nice. Okay. Also, also, you know, check at the bottom. I can see this side of the oven is low the temperature. So I'm gonna turn it around. This is nearly ready. Okay, that's another good technique, uh, flipping the pizza. And now this pizza, I'm gonna move on the central to get more color of the bottom because it was too whitey. That means should put the locks on the left side so from the bottom of your pizza you can see the oven is, is hot or it's not hot enough and then our pizza is really ready the smell guys is absolutely fantastic and is that wow look across sound. Now we're gonna give a nice cut here. Look at that. That's what I like it. Look, look the when you go nice fermentation also do sourdough. Look at that. You can cut another side as well to see. It's a little look. Guys this is important. Get airy light pizzas. That's what I like it. And then was a little couple of tips for you to add to stretching. You have to use your oven and to scoop your on, on the pizza pill, guys. Yeah. So hope you like this video again and um, leave a comment below as I usual. We try to reply all of you when I got time and uh, big thumbs up if you like it and see you soon at the next one. Thanks for watching.